again fans and friends tonight we have three that I found from Toys R Us unusually because they are all the same series of car but all from Greenlight as well and so we have there the Ford Mustang 2021 Mach 1 Ford Mustang 2019 Shelby GT350 and last but not least is the 2016 Ford Shelby GT350 so I guess we'll start with this one too and this one's the Black Bandit packaging the same as the one I did last time but that was obviously the station wagon Plymouth and as I well know and love the green light usually has the whatever's in the series they say it's limited edition die cast and 164 I bring that up because I just realized that Hot Wheels and Mattel in general, but also Matchbox, they never put the 164 scaling on any of their packaging because the cars are probably not 164 exactly or all the time. So at least Greenlight's telling you for the most part that these are in fact 164 cars. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and open this. Leatherman Signal. And clearly I need more practice with opening packages because that one is quite a fight. Now with the Shelby, of course, I have the unavoidable black background. And it's a matte blackish type color. As you can see, it's not reflecting the light as much. I'm going to try to improve the light a little bit. Oh, there we go. And as you can see on the right hand side, there's the little tiny little Shelby. Lights are done well. Actually, I find most of the recent green lights have been doing a really good job. And I don't know if that's a defect and it should be more flat. I guess we'll see with the other cars. And the hood opens, but not very much, which is kind of disappointing. For you guys to take a look in there, it's really, really difficult. Well, you can see the different engine parts. And that's usually a standard for green light. They will have the engine deck opening. And there you can see the black bandit plus the Ford. And the four mufflers as well as the spoiler. Which again is lifted on one side but not on the other. I mean it's not huge. But uh, and you can kind of see my fingerprints being left behind on the matte glass. I will have to use a microfiber cloth to get it off later. And next up we have the 2019 Ford Shelby GT350. And it, as you guys know, the green light muscle car packaging is very plain. I happen to like the uh, Black Bandit so much better. But obviously I'm not going to keep it in this package. And so I just went ahead and opened both of them just in case. So we don't have an incident, but I will do them one by one. Okay, so for the first one it will be the GT350 2019 edition. And this one, as you can obviously make out, has the uh, usual racing stripe, although I actually like it. It's the red in the center, the white, and then the two black stripes and then we have the as you can see here the front splitter is not cracked as in like the this one so I don't I really think that one's just effective which is kind of disappointing but what can you do and the hood opens again as you can see the engine is extremely similar to the other GT350 which is oh, three years newer can't quite see it because the hood doesn't open very well but we're very far actually but the paint does make the car look a lot better. And as you can see, they do share the identical wheels. And spoiler on this one is balanced as well. So I guess this one, they actually just took their time and did it properly. And you can see the little shot beyond the right side of the vehicle there. And the muffler, four muffler series. Underneath, 
almost identical. Try and read Frontier Ford Shelby GT350 used under license 2019 manufactured and green light and GL164. And so the 350 is pretty much the same thing. 2016 used under license also made last year. They're from the same series. Not same series, sorry, same year. They're technically both series 24. The Mustang here, the black one is from the series 24, but black bandit. Well, this one is series 24, but from the GL muscle. And then last but not least, we have the blue one, which is the Mach 1, which interestingly was the replacement for the GT350 when Ford decided to go with the GT500 and the Mach 1 to replace their low end and high end offerings. And as you can see, it's not, it has the Ford in the center because it's an all Ford Mustang rather than the GT350 conversion. And I don't know if the hood... Wait, oh, managed to get the hood to open. And as you can see, this one is extremely similar to the others, but for some reason it wants to open much wider which in the other two is kind of disappointing that the GT is like you can see the difference there right away look at that you can display the Mach 1 much better maybe it might just be the one that I got and as you can see the front splitter is very different it's actually made you can see the indents to be part in the middle rather than this one which is either really poorly done or cracked and I think it's poorly done you can see it's the metal has been sort of indented which kind of disappointing and then this one but you can see how much improved the uh, hood opening is the lights don't look as well like they're all solid one color but I mean and the wheels are different too you can see right away and it has Mach 1 there all right so we have the usual green light with its transmission and we will drive access panel and the lights it's more much more plain than the one with the spoiler obviously not than the black bandit but and like all green lights here this one the hood is very loose it wants to just shut well the black bandit counterpart does not it might just be the ones that I got and this one has a common gripe that I have about other 164 cars as you can see here it happens to have its rear view mirrors they're just painted silver they're not actually you know any sort of reflective material but it's better to have them than to not and you can see the spoiler there too there's a much bigger gap in between where it comes off the body than the older 350 and I mean older by as in design not toy obviously they're made 2019 they're all made the same year two years ago and so there we have it three mustangs the mach 1 the black bandit 2016 gt350 and the gt350 2019 and my catalog is here to investigate and so there you have it guys actually I in, did enjoy these taking them out of the package I enjoy these models and I think it's a great addition to any collection hopefully the next series they have the GT500 so I can add that one as well and I also really do though of all these three like this one's paint job the best matte black is nice the Mark 1 is okay but it's kind of a let down that they paint doesn't go all the way down the back like it does for this one but uh, and it does have the review side mirrors which is a common gripe it's personal gripe it's not serious I mean buy what you like and you like what you buy anyways guys I kind of rambled on about that and I hope you didn't find it kind of off-putting but if you're a Ford Mustang fan and you can find them and or order them I got these three were like I said same location at the same time so I think I got pretty lucky in that regards. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is a Tumnus in Toronto.
and until the next video.